how's it going? Super ECW Champion here, and today I'm teaching you quite possibly one of the biggest songs that's ever played on the radio back in the 70s or even today if you listen to classic rock. That's right, I'm talking about the Eagles Take It Easy. And before I go into too much detail, I'm sorry about the audio from this microphone. It's pressed right up against the guitar. And I'm using a, uh, a .90 thickness pick, which is, I'm guessing, primarily primarily used for uh, heavy metal, hard rock, and whatever. Um, you know, Tone Boy can't stop uh, chewing on the, the more flexible picks, which I use for this kind of songs. <laughs> Fucking metal players. Anywho, and I meant that as a joke. Please don't send me death threats. Anywho, so this song, it has an abundance of chords, uh, but it's very easy to play, very fun to play. I remember when I first learned that song, my mom came in, and we have a rule. If it's a song that we all know and that we all enjoy, he's, he's supposed to turn that up. Well, she said, turn it up, and the music stopped. She later found out that it was me playing. <laughs> so, anywho, we are going to start this song with... We. we, as in me and the viewers. Okay, there you go. Dummy. I don't know that song, so... Now, we're going to open up this song with a G. Now, you all are thinking, but wait a minute, Mr. Teacher Man. <laughs> 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 I'm stupid. Get used to that. There's a lot. There are there are a couple ways to play a chord. Well, that's right. There's a normal way that we all learn how to play it. There's a way Glenn plays it in the song. There's the bard. As I can. That's better. However, and there are a couple more formations. I just don't know how to make because I'm not that experienced in music. But I am in basic chords and certain bar chords. Anywho, we're going to do it the way Glenn Fry did, which is your third and your fourth finger on the third fret of the high E and the low E. And I'll get as to why we're going to be having in that shape in a couple, couple of a uh, couple of minutes. But until then. These fingers right here, ignore all the rest. These two fingers are going to go right there. And with your pick, it's going to be a simple pattern. It's a, it's a simple down, up, down, up, down, up, down kind of a pattern with uh, a lot of uh, rhythmics in it. And for those of you who are thinking, oh great, he's talking drums now. Everything that you have, whether it's a wind instrument, uh, a stringed instrument like this, or yes, percussions, it has rhythm. It has a sense of rhythm in it. So anyway, we're going to do a, one, a couple more times in slow motion. That last one, that's actually where that chord change is going to go, but we're going to do it one more time. Once again, this is the shape of the chord. Okay, now you're just probably thinking, okay, he's being like every cliche teacher. Well, you're right, I am, but I try to add humor. Anywho, now, still keeping that G shape, we're going to go into a C. Now, again, you're thinking, hey, stupid. There's this way for a C. There's this way. And there's some way down the neck that I have no idea where. Uh, I think it's probably close to here or here. I'm not exactly sure. Again, not that experienced in it, but we're not getting into that. The reason why Glenn Fry plays his C like this, by putting his his second finger on the second fret on the uh, D string, and his first finger on the first fret of the B string, is because it co-inherits with that uh, standard G shape. It makes it easier if you're a guy who just plays chords, or who actually wants to try to recreate the sound. And for me, it's just easier to do it that way instead of just trying to go from the normal G to the normal C to the normal D. Pro a lot of you are probably starting to snicker at that uh, every time I say the, the word, the, uh, the letter D, but get your minds out of the gutter. Yeah. So, I, shut up. You said D. 
So anywho, this is. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. So anywho, this is how it's gonna sound with the with the two chords. And again, it's a simple down up, down up, down up, down up pattern. It's real easy, just a lot of rhythm. So this is what it's gonna look like. Now, for the other chord change, and again, just do that a couple times uh, before, you know, just pause the video if you have to and just keep going like... Hopefully you don't make the mistakes of hitting some extra strings. Anywho, so now our, uh, our the, the second finger on the D string, we're going to move that back and put that on the second fret on the G string. And we're going to get this kind of a sound. And once again, this is how it sounds like in slow motion. If you want to pause the video after this demonstration, go right on ahead and practice it a couple of times. So, and that's just the, uh, the bass, that's just the introduction. Um, if you all want another video, I will be glad to post it up. Just, uh, do me a big favor in the description down below. Go to, go and check out Tone Boy's channel. He recently did, uh, how to play the intro to the Beatles' Day Tripper. Uh, quite possibly one of the best rock bands in rock and roll history. Uh, do me a huge favor and punch that subscribe button right there in the face. Comment down below if you want to want me to do any other kind of a lesson. Please remember, though, I'm mostly a chord guitarist. I don't do scales right now. And I shall see you all in the upcoming videos.